And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. I was very surprised that the chef chose to keep Bonnie here, but obviously chef sees something in Bonnie that nobody else does. I won't be offended if you guys are shocked. About what? About the fact that I'm still here in Bradman home. I think the boys had a feeling I was going to be going up there, and there's no way that Brad would lose against me. But Brad was a good cook, though, in the kitchen. I think Brad was the biggest competition, so it's good to see him go. I feel like I can beat Josh easily. I know you think you can win. I think everybody thinks they can win. Of course. But to be honest, I don't think your energy can be focused in the way that dictates a winner at all. That's your opinion, and that's fine. I don't give a fuck what you rock thinks. I'm still here, and that's all that matters. I'm all about winning, and you know that. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning chef. chef. Five left. This is where it gets really serious now. There's no red team, there's no blue team. No battle of the sexes. You're now one team. There you go. We're on the same team, you know, and we're all here for a reason, not by luck. And our individual success Banks on our success as a team. Scott, here we are. What? Little <laughs> glass of champagne. Congratulations. You are the final five. May the best chef win. Right, guys, cheers. Yes? Cheers. Good health. Salute. Mm. Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> Open wide, Josh. The chef is throwing champagne at you, and wow, you can catch champagne from five meters away. You have a new talent. I do. You can catch champagne. <laughs> Now, little surprise upstairs in your dorms are your new jackets. Yeah! Go upstairs, get changed, enjoy the moment, you deserve it. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hip hooray! Well done. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. jackets. For real. Yay! Yeah. I'm so excited! The black jacket. Good job, y'all. Yeah. Good job. I'm with you. Love the new jackets. The black and the white, it looks so good. Good job. I feel honored to be wearing it right now. We've come a long way. We're all nuts. Yeah. I'm proud of myself, you know? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of us. Five people left. So this is it. This is cutthroat. This is where it gets really serious. Today's challenge is your very first individual challenge. Each of you will cook an individual dish that will be judged by a very special group of trendsetters. Clients with their fingers on the pulse in terms of culture, fashion, music. We're cooking for trendsetters. If it's Mariah or if it's The Rock, I will pee my pants. But there's a twist. This set of trendy customers will not be coming in here. You're going to them. Scott, Marianne, please. Blindfolds. OK, no peeping. Get ready. Scott and Marianne, lead them out, please. The chef said that we would be cooking for people with their finger on the pulse. Makes me think of doctors, nurses, you know. When I think of trendsetters, people on the pulse, I've got to think Hollywood or I've got to think celebrities. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> what the chefs don't know is that the trendsetters Chef Ramsay spoke of are 100 hungry high school students. OK, guys, take your blindfolds off. Welcome to Alhambra High. I kind of thought I smelled like a cafeteria of chicken patties and tater tots. What better place to find out about trends than a high school? Today, your challenge is to feed and win over these teenagers. Now, the lunch bell 
is going off in one hour. It's down to their votes on which dish they like the best. The winner of this challenge, they will be coming with me on a trip to Las Vegas. I've never been to Vegas, but I'm sure Gordon has something amazing planned for us. Into the kitchen. Off you go. Quick. In their first individual challenge, our final five chefs have only one hour to prepare lunch for 100 students. For his lunch special, Rock is making a Kobe beef meatloaf on a ciabatta roll. Got to work it, Rock. Yes, sir. Let's just go, baby. I'm ready to go and hop over to Sin City, rip up Vegas, show them how I do it a little bit. Josh's creation is a baked salmon with pineapple salsa. Let's go, Josh, please, yeah? Chef. Julia is preparing a grilled chicken and cheese sandwich with onion rings. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. The time that we had, one hour to prepare 100 portions. And I was kind of worried. I'm thinking I wasn't going to have enough. Come on, guys. Let's go, Bonnie. Bonnie will be serving goat cheese, breaded and fried over a bed of greens. When I was in high school, I was eating unhealthy things. So um, at least I have something fried on my plate. Two minutes to the bell. Come on. Jen's dish is baked chicken fettuccine with a lemon chive butter sauce. Every kid loves chicken and pasta. So I'm going to make sure that it's well worth their while to eat, and I'm going to Vegas. 30 seconds to go. Come on, guys. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Let's go. Here they come. Sell that dish. Come on over, y'all. The aspiring chefs will serve their lunches on colored plates. After sampling all the dishes, the students will vote for their favorite. Vote green, people. Vote green. Hey, what's up, fellas? What's up? What's up? Oh, we're all cooks, but every opportunity I get, I'm going to try to politic. It's pushing my burger, selling it. I don't see any yellow on your plate. Compared to everybody else's dish, I had full faith and confidence that mine was going to bring me on top. Everybody's screaming yellow. That's the ghost cheese. I put it in breadcrumbs, and you deep fry it. It makes the cheese really soft and so warm. It's really good. Oh, OK. I heard Josh, and I heard Rock. So you know, I was like, you know, I love cheese. Who loves cheese? You know, trying to be perky. Remember, pink is nice, all right? But don't vote for her. She's not that nice. Didn't take a long time to make it, but it took a long time to make, like, 100. Go speed up, guys, yes? I like your sweater. It's great. It's great. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're gridlock. No, they came from both sides. That's why it's gridlock, shit. Don't fucking argue with me, Rock, OK? OK. Save me. Yes. It was a hell of a lot of fun getting out there and talking to the kids and trying to get them to uh, vote for my dish. With all the plates served, it's now time for these trendsetters to decide what's hot. How's the burger? It's good. Yes. And what's not. I could have made that at home. With the ballots tabulated, the aspiring chefs will now learn whose dish proved most popular. OK, here we go. The hero with over 51% wow. of your votes today. Vegas, here I come. The best dish of the Alhambra high school lunch. There's nothing I would like more than to fly to Vegas for Chef Ramsay. Boys and girls, the hero of the Alhambra high school lunch is Julia! Ah! I am so excited. I'm more than excited. I'm ecstatic. I can cook. Not only can I cook, but I, I make my food taste good. Oh, thank you, Julia! Oh, Julia came out of the woodwork and just surprised everyone. Competition is, is getting fiercer and fiercer by the minute. We're off to Vegas. Yeah. You've got 30 seconds to choose one of your teams coming with you. Julia's standing there, and she's just looking at us. And I'm just like, oh, just say my name. Just say my name. I got to take. I immediately knew she, Julia wasn't going to take Rock or Josh. She was going to take a girl. So I was like, pick me, pick me. Jen, I got to take Jen. Jay, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> OK. The rest of you, we've got some very boring, really horrible tasks back in Hell's Kitchen. 
Jean-Philippe is waiting for you. Now move your ass. Let's go. I don't know what we're going to get to do when we're there. I mean, it's Las Vegas, but I'm ready to do whatever it is that we're going to do. We're so happy! Hey, we're so happy! And if a trip to Vegas isn't enough, Chef Ramsay has another surprise. Ladies, you didn't think we were going to be traveling commercial, did you? Oh, my God. Wow. We just sit oh anywhere? Cheers, my dear. Cheers, my dear. While Julia and Jen get a taste of the high life, the losers are being grounded with Jean-Philippe. We're going to have to vacuum the restaurant, and then afterwards, steam cleaning, and then a, a bit of ironing as well. Everything we need for the dining room is in this bag? No, no, no. I have 10 more bags. 10 more? Yeah. Wow. So, action. This tank is for dirty water recovery. Add anti-foam here. You want to go look at it real quick? I don't know how to work that, do you? Rock, um, you ever used one of these before? No, don't. You on your own. Jean-Philippe. Yes, my friend. You got a problem with this machine, don't you? Yes, I do. Hey, you know what, Josh? This is not no rock and science. It doesn't work with solar energy. It works with electricity. You just turn it on. <laughs> For chefs, we belong in the back of the house, not in the front of the house, for them reason. Whoa. Does a chicken bone just pick it up? Shorten out or something. Damn, why aren't we in Vegas right now? Oh my god, we're in freaking Vegas, baby. Jules, look at it. Oh my look god. Out. Beautiful. Look at, look at, look at, right there. Green Valley Ranch is huge. I just could not believe it. One of us five wins the position of a chef here. Whoa! Oh, my God, Jules! Whoa. Jules, you see the kitchen? I uh, know. Look at the bed. Do we each have a room like this? Look at this. Oh my God, that cleanses your booty. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, rear cleansing. This is actually. Oh, wait. Front cleansing, too. The Green Valley Ranch it was really nice. It was amazing, you know? So, I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that I do get this restaurant. It's a chance to do something that nobody in my family has had the opportunity to do yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While Rock, Bonnie, and Josh work late into the night, Jen and Julia get worked on at the Green Valley Ranch Resort Spa. I know that I could get used to living like this. I got scrubbed and rubbed and massaged, and um, I feel really good. I really think we should try to iron on the table. OK, try it. What do you think? I don't think it's a good idea. Why do you have to get an attitude? I'm, I'm not. not. I'm, I'm just verbalizing my thoughts. I said, OK, try it. Rock just has this temper. He just blows up at you for no reason. How do we fold this? I have no idea. Apparently, I'm the nanny, so. I wonder, can we? I know, you should know how. I don't do laundry. You don't do laundry. You don't change diapers. What no, do you do? I cook for the most part. I'm a chef. I cook dinner for them every night, dumbass. A new day begins in Las Vegas, and Julia and Jen head off from the Green Valley Ranch Resort to its luxurious sister resort, Red Rock, to meet a special guest. Morning, ladies. Something special I wanted to introduce you to, yes? Oh, yeah. Heather, Julia, Heather, Jen, Hi. this is Heather. Congratulations. <laughs> Take yeah. us through. Welcome to Sarah Rosa. I was praying to God that I had the chance to meet Heather on, because she is such an inspiration. So this is my restaurant, Sarah Rosa. Obviously my prize. I have some dishes for you guys to try. Nice. Mm. Wow, that's good. That's good. What's your edge on Virginia? Virginia was a great competitor, but I wanted it so bad. You got to remember, these people are going to be in the end with you. Keep your friends close, bring your enemies closer. 
Heather gave me good advice, which she told me I'm going to carry with me throughout this competition. Uh, ladies, I'm going to spoil the fun. We've got a very, very busy service ahead of us this evening. Yeah, a lot yeah. of work to do. Yeah. Uh, you've been amazing. Getting to meet Heather just really let me know it's anybody's game. Nothing is impossible. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Wow. As Julia and Jen head back to Hell's Kitchen, Josh, Bonnie, and Rock must prep for tonight's dinner service on their own. Feeling lonely, stuck with the boys. <laughs> I'm so nervous about tonight because we have five people. We have to serve the whole restaurant. Can we get monkfish in today? There was like 23 portions, and then there was still another like pan full of them, right? I've been that. It smells. What? What are you doing? You threw away monkfish. It smelled awful. That was all that we have. Oh, God. Show it to me. Where is it? They threw away some monkfish, and immediately Chef Marianne made me dig it out of the trash. It doesn't smell good. Scott, does it smell bad too? It smells like monkfish. Oh, my it's God. Like I'm monkfish. freaking out. Yeah. It was a huge mistake, and it could be my time to go home tonight. <gasps> After a punishing early morning prep, Bonnie, Rock, and Josh finally get a much needed break. I can't believe they've been in Vegas like all day. How sweet it would have been. Damn, lots of cheese sandwich. It's like a grilled cheese, but it has chopped up chicken. Obviously, cheese on bread or cheese on meat tastes good. So obviously, people are going to like it. If Julia had done her dish for Hell's Kitchen, it would have been like. Plain. Chef loves her. It's what she can be taught. It's not what she knows. So annoying. What? Hi. Hey. Hi, everybody. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Hi, yeah. We brought pictures. <sighs> Who's that? Is that Heather? Heather. Oh. Yeah. She gave some pointers. Yeah. She gave some advice. Yeah. Some say, oh, that's good. You know, do a little fake ass smile. Oh, OK. Congratulations. You deserve it. Good for you. The place is just humongous. To go to work there every day, we had, like, food out the ass, crystal we drank. Nice. In our room, we had, like, a pool table, and it had the... Had a pool table in the room. The toilet. Did you use the bidet? And the booty cleaner? Is that a bidet? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, no, I was like, I'll I mean, it was like, <laughs> it goes right to the spot, like, right? <laughs> That was stunning me. And but it kept spraying. I was like, cut it out. How do you stop it? And it was just like, Wah. Jen and Julia got back from Vegas. They were all smiles. But you know, I'm in the frame, frame of mind of service tonight. For the first time in Hell's Kitchen, the women and men must work together in one kitchen to feed the entire dining room. I'm going to have the uh, spaghetti and crab. I'll have scallops for yeah. On order, four covers, table 32. There's scallops, mullet, long things straight after, yes? Yes, chef. I'm working apps tonight. I am 100% confident in myself to get the team started off with a bang. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Why is the risotto on? We're having got one away. How long has that been on there for? That's been on there for four minutes. These were on there earlier. They're going away. Fucking hell, how many are you doing? Can someone stop this guy? Have you stopped panicking, my man? How many fucking risottos are you doing up front? Look at all those pans. Yes, chef. What's going on? Let me just tell you something. We've opened, we haven't served anything yet, and we've lost money. What a fucking donut. While Josh's plan to get ahead backfired, Rock tries to make sure his scallops are done well. Scallops, please. But they're a little too well done. Rock! Yes, Chef? Yeah, you can fuck yourself. Look at that. There, look. There you go. Come on. Oh, fucking hell. Three more scallops in. It takes one minute to study the scallops. Is that what we serve in house kitchen? Not at all, Chef. We're going from fucking bad to worse, man. It just seems so comical. Rock and Josh aren't doing well. Scallops, risotto, spaghetti. What's in that basket? This is the one that pulled. Why? So just talk to me. Why? 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 Starting new. Starting new. Oh, fuck me. In your restaurant before we come here, do you cook spaghetti before the customer orders it? Never, chef. So why are you doing it here? 
No, it was wrong. Oh, 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 was it really wrong? Even my yeah. mum cooked spaghetti seven minutes before she wants it. Get it in the bin. 30 minutes into dinner service. I got the scallops. I got the crab. I'm so hungry. <laughs> John Philip, we're going to be serving appetizers and entrees at the same time, yes? Stand by, yes? With Bonnie on the meats and Julia on garnish, they're hoping to show Chef Ramsay they belong in the final five. One monkfish, one turbo, one squab, one Wellington. Yes? First entree. Get a grip, you, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. OK, guys, you ready? I'm going up to the window. Are you ready to go? Watch your back, Josh, right behind you. Monkfish, please. Wellington. Wellington's nicely cooked. Thank hey, you, you, Chef. Where's the fennel? Go on, Julia. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck me. Uh, don't you start. I'm sorry. Where did the fennel go that was sitting right here? It's gone. Oh, here Julia, it. wakey, wakey, you, I'm yeah? I'm awake, yes, Chef. Come on, Julia. I got it coming right now. Send the pan over. That's what, yeah, I'll he said bring it, it in the like pan. That, yeah? I'll take it with that like that, yes? Unbelievable. Come on, please, Julia. Oh, whatever. Julia? Are you taking the piss out of us now? No, I'm not. No, it's the second table as well. You're not even fucking... It's like you're fast asleep. No, I'm not. I haven't worked the veg station before. It was hard. Um, I ain't gonna lie. While Julia struggles yes, to get her station under control, Josh yes. continues to test Chef Ramsay's patience. What the fuck is he doing? What? More spaghetti in there. I'm sorry. We cooked spaghetti to order. Yes, Chef. Even the fucking dirtiest, scummiest Italian restaurant in Venice Beach cooks spaghetti to order, you donkey. Yes, Chef. I was wondering what the fuck you're doing. I'm here, Chef. You're pushing me to the fucking limit, big boy, huh? More than an hour into dinner service, guests are finally getting a taste of Josh's appetizers. Oh, What's happening? Yeah. Oh, my God. Sorry? Oh, my God almighty. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Come here, come here, come here, come here, you. What are you doing? Just what the fuck are you doing? Every table so far, nothing's coming out. You're standing there, you're screwing me, and you're fucking useless. What are you doing? Sorry, chef. Yeah, do me a favor. Yes, yeah, chef. Take that off and fuck it up out of here. Get out! Get out! Hey, you! Leave the jacket and get out! Get out! Give me the jacket. Give me, Give me the fucking jacket. Fucking useless sack of shit. Get out! Get out! I would have given my right arm to stay in the service and keep fighting because I came here with a dream to win. And it appears it's over. It appears that uh, Green Valley Ranch is not in my future. Dream's over, guys. Due to Josh's unscheduled departure, it's up to the four remaining chefs to save dinner service. Oh, Let's go, Julia. Yes, chef. That is like the worst way I ever seen anybody like get fired. That was bad. I was just thinking, I hope he don't tell me to get out next. Jen. Yes. Get on appetizers. Yes, chef. And he kicks them out of the kitchen and he points at me and he looks me straight in the eye and he goes, you're on apps. No, and Jen, he's gone now, huh? He's on Sunset Boulevard looking for a fucking bus. Yes, chef. So I'm like, man. This is a true test, but I vow to myself that I'm going to impress Chef Ramsay somehow. There you are. Three nice, stunning, seasoned, beautifully risotto. Thank you, Chef. With Jen rescuing the appetizer station, the kitchen is back on track. Now it's working. Keep it going. Yes, Chef. So we go now. Entree, appetizer, entree. Like a normal kitchen. Yes, Chef. And all the stations are running smoothly, except for... Garnish, please. Julia. I could have sworn I put it up there. Garnish for the fucking monkfish. Have we forgotten the monkfish garnish? I thought I had already put it up oh. there, Chef. I'm sorry. I don't know what went wrong. 
like I was missing, like I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Where is the garnish? I had Thank to redo you. it. I'm sorry. Come on, then, don't give up then. I can't believe you just, I have to redo it. OK, but don't give up. Your body language has given up. Carrots. Oh, fuck me. No answer, fuck me. I was just like, OK, get it together, get it together. While Julia tries to pull herself together, Chef Ramsay looks to Bonnie and Rock to keep things moving. How long's the turbo, please? Rock, talk to me, babe. What the fuck happened to the turbo? We're supposed to be going up with that. Bonnie? Yes, Chef? Is it not ready? No, Chef, I was just waiting on the turbo, no. Chef. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't call me out like that because you're trying to look like the fucking teacher's pet. I want the wedding to the squad. Fuck yes, the turbo. If he's not ready, he's not ready. Yes, Chef? Bonnie, we on the same team here? Or are you trying to single yourself out? What's really going on? Rock, set, rock bottom. While some diners are enjoying their food, That's so good. That's nice. others are tired of waiting. I am starving. And Jen takes matters into her own hands. One and a half minutes to the window, Rock. Yes, Queen Jen. Scholars, please. Yes, Chef. Where's the spaghetti? It's coming, Chef. It's coming. Rock. Don't yes. go until I say, OK? Because you're going to fuck me up. Where's the fucking scallops? Oh. Jen, please, let's go. Yes, Chef. Want spaghetti? Come on. Cream in there. Here you go. Put it down. All we'll right. do it. Yes. Don't do that to me, Rock, OK? What'd you say? Who the fuck are you talking to? My chef told me to come up there. 45 seconds, Rock. I called oh, it. Shit. Don't say nothing else to me, please. I've been calling it all time. Yeah, OK. I hear you. Why are you acting like this? You're 30 you years old. Time? Well, you act like stop acting like an eight year old. You're not talking to us anymore, Rock. You need to talk to us. Why is he giving us attitude? I enjoy working with women a lot of times. Not like these bitches, you know. I understand it's a competition. I want to win, too. But I'm not trying to put anybody down to bring myself up. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Who just threw that food down there like that? Who threw that over there? Me, Chef. Yeah, you may be pissed off, but I'm fucking standing here screwed. I'm not pissed off at all. I'm having a great time, Chef. Hey, yes. if I performed like you, I'd be pissed off. Despite the arguing in the kitchen, entrees are still making it to the pass. Service, please. Let's go. That's good. The four remaining chefs have managed to move on to desserts. But the moment is anything but sweet. What is this? Is this yours? That's the ice cream base. You could just put it over there if you could. On the sink. Asshole. You a fucking asshole. Hey, 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 do you mind? We're not arguing amongst ourselves, yeah? No, 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 Yeah, the fucking weak link's gone. Now you should fucking start working as a team. Don't jump when you say jump, stop, princess. Stop, stop, Fuck you think you're talking to? Stop. I cannot run this kitchen like this. Big man, big man. Big man shit. Shut the fuck up! Enough's enough. Big man shit. You guys, knock it off. Knock it off. OK, we got one brulee, one panna cotta, and then we're done. Despite the ongoing fighting, simple as bruh. You're crazy. The aspiring chefs managed to successfully complete dinner service. Oh dear. I really thought this this far down the line that wow, we've got the best five. Now four. We could do so much better. Bonnie. Your best night so far. Your best ever service, spot on. The choice is yours. Go back to the dorm and think of two of your team that you think should be up for elimination. One of those two are going home. Yes, Chef. Let's go. I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to be put in this crappy position of picking two people to nominate tonight. But you know, I'm here, I'm in the final three. I never thought I'd get this far. Rock. Don't, hey, don't say shit to me. 
fuck off. How about that? Asshole. Come on, come talk to me. He has a mean temper, dude. When he came in and he goes, you don't want to fucking mess with me. He said that really. Hmm. He does not know how to control his temper, and it's like it's like instantaneous. Like I didn't do anything. Everybody saw that he was being an ass, you know. And I'm sorry. I'm not gonna take it lying down. You could tell he was bullying you. People just hate me. I just want to go home. I didn't like the way Chen approached me. Probably should have waited till after service and told her. You know, I let some stupid stuff get in there, and it took me off. So I'm disappointing myself. I'm disappointing my family. I just fucked up. I'm better than that. I'm just, I'm just not the way I'm supposed to go out. You guys, I have to nominate one of you. Rock is a definite, you know, up for elimination. But I don't want to put Jen or Julia up on the chopping block and risk having one of them go home. I'm not going to put myself up. But, I mean, it is your choice. I, I, I want it too bad. I'm not gonna put myself up there. You know, so you will have just, to choose. I would just like to see the three of us make it to the final three. I'm not really sure who she gonna nominate. I'm confident that I don't think that I'm gonna get sent home. And I did have trouble on veg, but I mean, it happens to the best of us. You know, people have bad nights. I had my bad night tonight. We down to four people. So, I mean, it's only gonna get harder from here. I don't know what to do. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. Mm -hmm. First nominee and why? My first nominee is Rock. He lost communication. His temper flared when it shouldn't have flared. And in my opinion, he could have done better. Second nominee. My second nominee tonight <laughs> is Julia. I think the world of Julia, I think she's come so far, but she struggled on Garnish tonight, and she's just shown that she has a lot to learn with product. Rock, Julia, step forward, please. Tough, really tough. Rock, why should you stay? I know my performance tonight was uncharacteristic of me, and I'm a great communicator. I, uh, I failed tonight. I can do better, and I will do better, if given the opportunity. Julia, why should you stay? I feel like I don't want to go home. Tonight was really hard for me, but I, I didn't give up. You know, I refuse to give up. Um, that's just the kind of person that I am. I've got one guy that is completely driven to get to the top of his career, and one woman having made the most significant improvement. This is a very tough decision on a personal front for me. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. God. I'm really sorry. It's Julia. Take off your jacket. Listen, you have done phenomenally well. And I'm going to do something now that I've never done before. I am personally going to send you to culinary school because you have an exceptional amount of talent. Thank you. And when you've done that, I want you to come back here and win it hands down because there's something quite amazing about you. 
Thank you. I am very proud of you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Good night. Whose is that? Mine. I'm a short order cook. I've never worked in a kitchen like this before. I mean, if somebody can tell me anything, I'm just trying to do my best. I think that people underestimated me. Julia, yes, take control. Come on. Let's rock yes, it out, ladies. Music to my ears. Good stuff. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got this one in the bag. I know that Chef Ramsay, he's only hard on us to make us better because it's made me so much better. I know that great things will come out of this, you know, just starting with culinary arts school. I made it really far, but I don't want to go home. Now, we're down to the final three. Bonnie, Jen, and Rock. I said to you, it's going to get harder, but it's going to get more exciting. Congratulations. Now, get some sleep. Good night. Good night, Chef. Thank you, Chef. I really, really didn't think I'd get this far. It just all seems so surreal that I've actually been doing well and that I actually could, might win this thing. I have what it takes, and there's a reason that I am here. It's just that I have to really mold myself now to be a leader. The pressure's really on right now. I'm really excited to be here. I mean, top three, that means Chef Ramsay does see something in me. He does. And it's up to me to bring it out. It's only up to Rock. This is Rock's restaurant to lose. To become a great chef, you must have natural ability. Clearly, Julia does have it. All she needs is a little more experience. After that, she'll be ready to run her own restaurant.